compress or reduce the size of any video, you use this app called Handbrake. Handbrake. All you need to do is to download and install the app. After installing this app, Handbrake, double click to open the app and allow to load. And once this app loads successfully, you're going to have this environment. Here you have a folder, you can select a folder, a batch of videos that you wish to reduce their size or compress their size. You can also select a single video by clicking on this option here. You can as well pick and drop a file or a video file in this rectangular box. Okay, now to select the video, I'll click on the file option here. Okay, now you can see this video, the size is 18.3 MB, 18.3 MB, so we need to reduce the size of this video. I'll click to select and load the video. Now the video is loaded onto the application handbrake. Now we have the, the menu too here. Yeah? We have the file, the tools, the preset, queue, and the hub. Under file, we have open source. You have start and code. Open source allows you to select a file. If you don't want to use option one, you can use this option to select a file. You can also start compressing by clicking on start and code. Okay, we have the tools, show queue. This gives you the number of videos you have queue. Activity log shows the summary of the activity. You have the presets. You have the queue, add to queue, add selection. Okay. Now, basically, what you need to concentrate on is this the summary tab. Now, under the summary tab, you have the format where you can click to select either the MKV, the WebM, or MP4 format. Uh, you can also decide to click on the web optimize is always advisable, especially if you're using um, your videos online. Uh, this will make it compatible with all browsers. You click on web optimize. You can also decide to select the iPod 5G support if you wish to do so. Okay, well, it is not compulsory. Now you can also click on other tabs to see the various features, okay, or properties of the video. Um, before that, you can see the size. This is the size of the video 1280 by 70, 720 pixel. That is the size of the video. Okay, in terms of the display size now. Now you can also click on the dimension tab to also do a change if you wish to. You can reduce the width or the height by clicking on these um, arrows, these buttons. You can also decide to crop. Your video um, by clicking on the custom and this allows you to crop by reducing or increasing any of these uh, sizes here you can crop to the right to the left bottom or top okay now usually it's advisable you set it at automatic so the application by default I'll give you the best cropping um size you need for your video you can also go to filters filters where you can also uh, do some adjustments to your video settings like the noise reducing the background noise sharpening the voice the block so you can play around all this uh, if there is need for you to do so you can also go to the video option to see um, some features of the video you can see the frame rate here is 30 okay and, and it's at, at default is is you leave it at peak frame rate this is very okay uh, do not do any adjustments here okay we leave it at this go to audio you can also see what you have as the audio properties subtitles and chapters and we'll return back to summary okay now you have the uh the source folder for your video once you are done, you can decide to change uh, the source folder. You can decide to change the source folder or you use 
same folder so I'm going to change select the source folder I'm going to leave it at this we use the same same source okay um decide to I give it a different name if it tests okay I change the name here click to change the name and give it tests now once you are done you click on this start encode to start compressing your video so I'll click on start encode and you watch to see the progress of um, the compression taking place okay now you have a summary of the activity in terms of the percentage time remaining the last time and pending jobs we can have a glimpse of how this is going on and when done do you wish to either shut down sleep hibernate lock system log off or do nothing okay i always leave it at do nothing and you allow this process to complete um once this process is complete a video size will be compressed automatically uh, remember the size of the video is about 18 mb 18 megabytes so we're going to compress and then see the results of our compression and once you compress this video mind you you're going to have the same quality same quality that is one good thing about this application it gives you same quality like the source video or the original video so you're not going to have a different or a low quality video you're going to have same quality and this is useful for those that do um streaming online or also um have youtube channels to manage and upload videos you can always use this application to compress your video before you upload online so once this is done okay um, queue is finished so we're going to bring up the folder where we have the video and also see the size now guys this is the video this is the original video 18.3 megabytes as you can see 18.3 megabytes and this is the final video you can see the size this is two see the size is 2.22 megabytes 2.22 megabytes sorry this is it here test 2.22 megabytes and the source is 18.3 megabytes so guys this is how you can uh, compress the size or reduce the size of any video uh, with ease so you can do this and get the same quality